everybody, it's Dizzy, and as you might be able to see if you've been here for a little while, I made a pretty big change to my hair. For the last year, my hair has been shades of pink and purple, and I decided I wanted to shake it up and go red. Um, so I will tell you guys how I got it and also offer some suggestions on how to get this color if your hair is starting out at a different base color than mine was because the base color that you're applying the shades on top of when you're using semi-permanent color, which this is all done with semi-permanent color, um, has a lot of influence. So first of all, my hair was faded out from pink. I um, have been fading it over the course of about a week and it had gone from being like a very kind of a light pastel -y pink um, to pretty much blonde in some areas like a golden -y light like a level 9 peachy blonde and then parts of it were stained baby pastel pink Now I knew I didn't want my hair to be a super bright like aerial red. I know in this camera it looks really bright but in real life it's actually a kind of a deep dark um, like red velvet cupcake sort of red. So what I needed to do to keep it from being super neon is to add some tones to it that were a little bit more on the natural end of things. So what I did was the mix I used was mostly special effects candy apple red which as you can see is this kind of bright but deep red then um probably about 60 percent of that then 40 percent of special effects burgundy wine which is a deep pink toned burgundy then to add some of that naturalness over the areas that were bleached and sort of blonde, I used a door rich amber, which is pretty much a perfect auburn brown that's very bright. Um, so actually, and then I also used a few drops of a door dark chocolate because I wanted it to be a deeper red color. So that is how I got this over predominantly blonde hair with a little bit of pink staining. Now, if your hair is bleached and you've bleached it to like a level eight blonde, so a blonde with a lot of gold, um, or even a level seven, which is like a darker blonde, um, then you can use just a little bit of the two special effects colors with a dab of the dark chocolate to deepen it up. If you are putting this, want this color and your hair is a light red from a box dye, a light brown, anywhere around like about a level six, you are going to be able to achieve this color by just doing the special effects colors mixed together because your base is going to be darker. Um, if you want have darker than that hair, like your hair is like a brown, you're not going to be able to achieve a color this bright, but you could put the candy apple red over a light brown to medium brown base and get a red stain that'll be really pretty and give you kind of an auburn color. If your hair is any darker than that, then these shades will probably not show up. So I hope that was helpful. That's how I got this color. I'm sorry I didn't film it. It was kind of a last minute thing that happened on Friday. Um, but that is the method that I used. I did do hair for several years professionally. I'm not anymore. So I do kind of, I have studied hair color and I have studied um, like color theory. Um, if you guys want to try to get something like this and maybe you just have some additional questions, um, there's the Hair Crazy board. It's haircrazy.com. I go there a lot. I spend a lot of time there. They helped give me the suggestions to get this formula and I'm also there all the time. If you, Also, you can put comments down below with your questions. I will be happy to answer them. Um, if anybody tries this formula and, and you know likes it and loves it, please tag me. I'm on all sorts of social media. That'll all be listed below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was interesting and informative, and I'll see you guys next time.